Welcome back to creating a 5M framework. This time we're looking at another state of the framework, uh, just catching up what we did. Uh, this time we're going to be going into the server. Uh, as you can see, we are started everything up here. And let me just talk about what we have done. We've done some changes um, on specific ends. So far, the admin stuff isn't actually finished. Therefore, uh, we're not going to be... Uh, Putting this in the server just yet. Um, our elements and everything is every should be good. Uh, logs just needs to be set up uh, for FX manifest and then connecting to your Discord. Uh, but that will be added uh, probably right after this. Um, not too much has changed, but. We did want to go into the server and just see uh, everything that has been added and talk about a few things. Uh, we looked at a clothing menu. Uh, there's going to be slight changes, first off. There's going to be a couple slight changes to our base uh, and our SQL. So our SQL in here, uh, we could just go on the Players tab, for an example. And while this is loading... Uh, we're going to have another tab, basically, for uh, if they've spawned before. And it's just going to be a true-false uh, false thing here, where if they have spawned before, um, then the spawn menu will open. But if they have not spawned, they will spawn at the airport. So we'll load right in. And as you can see, everything is going uh, as planned. Our ranking, uh, obviously not set yet, as we don't have the command to edit. But as soon as admin's running, we will. And then we're going to have another separate thing for queue. Um, how our queue is going to work is, uh, I saw someone had a integration for uh, connect queue with Discord. Uh, we're going to build that in, but then have priority be... Uh, set on the database uh, per player. As you can see, there were some changes on here, uh, some UI changes. Um, and let me open up this. So yeah, even when spawns running, it's still sitting at zero here. And click pink cage right now. And yeah, it's still, everything's still at zero on the CPU scale, which is really good. Uh, exactly what we wanted to see. Uh, like we said in here though, not much has changed. I believe we have a couple things in here. Uh, MP base, layer 25. Let's just double check on this real quick. Layer 25. What did it say? Field functions. Ah, uh, that's probably a good change to make. Uh, make sure this is actually functions. I didn't realize we messed that up, but uh, now we know. Uh, but if we do slash cache. We have that command. Oh, I feel like we might need to restart the base for this. Let's do, uh, let's just ensure uh, mp-base one more time. And then that's gonna be ensure mp-spawn and elements. So elements, okay, here we go. Uh, client five. So this is how I solve a lot of my errors. Obviously going through all this, we're gonna have a lot of, basically a lot of errors that we need to go check. Uh, and I just, yeah, okay, that makes a lot more sense. I just completely put a slash in by accident, which is why the cache uh, wasn't actually working. So we'll select Harmony Repairs, and double check that this all works. And yep. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look back in here. So we got a showing cache right here. Uh, we changed the export, so it's just MP base and then get object. Uh, which seems to be working uh, 
better. Let's see the server. Do we have the command in here? Oh, it looks like we just don't even have the actual command. Uh, we might have put it in our SV commands. No, we don't. Um, let's check our OOC command and just see if this is working. Um, yeah. So it says your player ID, your name. Okay. Uh, obviously, chat is going to need to be uh, completely fixed. That chat is very ugly. So uh, that's going to be a next thing that we could check out on. I do want to make sure that this cache command's working, uh, which we will later add in here. Um, but let's see. Oh, actually, we can do a set group. Um, so our set group command, I believe, has to be done in console for right now, but I can't type in here just yet. Um, well, we could figure this out later. Uh, we need to set notifications in here, and actually we should set a uh, log in here as well. So let's add another comment in here. Uh, add log for people trying to edit someone's terms, uh, which honestly probably a good, good idea to have. Uh, so let's try this cache command out. So we're basically going to be just calling this event and uh, we're just going to register command cache comma function and then we're going to trigger this event. And ensure elements again. And then when we type slash cache, where's it at? Did we not register the command correctly? Or SV this index. Ah, uh, that's scripts and oh, that's style. There we go. Now when we do cache, it still doesn't work. Hmm. HTML index, this is right. Notifications will be down here, so we will have that. Scripts.js, which we could just follow this. It should lead us to here. Uh, if action toggle. Go, hide, set value, uh -uh. just double check everything, see what we got, uh, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm. I am registering this command correctly, right, 5M natives. Just double check, make sure we are doing this, and client register command, command name. I mean, this should be. Pass through source in this and just let's see. All right. Can I oh, hold on? Let me open up full screen. I don't know how well this is going to work for you guys though. That did not work well for you guys at all. Okay. Now the question is, why is the cache not working? Uh, we probably will. Fuck. Doing one of these things. Okay, we're going to quit this. Showed some in-game stuff. 
why is display capture okay that's interesting um so we we'll have to relook at this i guess because send a new iMessage action show this should uh, it should work in theory let's just uh, CSS, that's fine. Yeah, this was all fine. Okay, we'll just double check that. Uh, what's next, though, is obviously fixing this. We're going to get uh, some clothing menus. So I can show you a few things that we're going to be using here. Uh, I like to look at the forms because uh, I don't know, it gives me ideas. So a few things that we will be porting over there was a clothing menu in here which we will be porting over and then on first spawn on that airport um it will open up the clothing menu at the start and be completely free now let me just double check see where i could find it i believe these so many of these releases come out uh let me just search for it clothing here we are so it's gonna be this menu um but yeah i mean it looks really well done um might have to do some changes but Oh yeah, it looks pretty good for everything that has been set. And we'll be porting this over, um, which we could go look in here and see exactly how we port it. Uh, obviously, they do the same thing with exporting, uh, so that's going to be pretty simple. We're going to have to change some of these calls uh, to include our, um, our, what's it called? Our SQL callback which we'll have to change a decent amount but uh, they're relatively uh, the same uh, just Getty exports and then select blah 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 we'll have to change this player citizen ID but that's very similar very easy to do um, other than that I, I want to say this is almost all we have to change in here uh, we'll go look at the client real quick uh, obviously it's gonna have all its textures and all the clothing, how it gets everything, basically. And nothing QB related, so we won't have to go in here. Uh, we'll most likely delete this command right here. Uh, reload skin uh, is actually just going to be uh, something that happens on spawn. So it everyone will be able to see everything. Um, so I believe that's actually all we have to change. Uh, we go look in here, so player outfits and skins. This is all actually perfect. Our citizen ID, we're going to just be using that uh, same uh, citizen ID that we've been using, which is the character ID slot number plus their Steam ID, and that's just going to port right into here and uh, how we get everything. So that's going to be pretty easy. Um, could look at some of this and just see how everyone does it. Mm -mm -mm. So, what we're looking in here is for some QB stuff. Um, their menu, just looking for calls of QB, really. But yeah, nothing in here. We'll look in here as well. And I think, yeah, that's basically it. So, there's not going to be, this isn't going to be hard to port actually at all. Um, it's going to be pretty similar, pretty easy, and pretty direct. Uh, so character customization, we'll just download this right now. And do we have a folder here somewhere? Yeah. So we'll go in here and ported. Let's do port scripts. Uh, these are all the scripts that we're going to be uh, porting in, basically. Um, so we'll go in here and we'll just drag this in right now. Uh, obviously not going to be started, but is going to be uh, ported in. We're going to key it. We could change it. We're probably just going to change it to clothing. Uh, we'll just be. Uh, most people change their stuff in here anyways like this. Um, 
if you are gonna do like are you i'm gonna it's a little secret if you are gonna do something like that this is the last thing we're gonna be talking about for this uh when you do something like renaming this you're always gonna have to go into this scripts right here and there's qb clothing all on these right here uh basically select all these and just change them to clothing otherwise your script's not gonna run uh just look Little, little tip you just need it to be like that because that's what it's calling it's calling this uh this folder basically but that is going to be all uh i'm trying to make these almost bi-weekly to tri-weekly tri, tri -weekly videos just to give an update on what's going on hopefully next time this clothing menu will be fully 100 in uh as well as a possible port for an inventory but that might be talked about on the next uh state of the framework video uh, once again, thank you all for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, please hop in the Discord. We'll go into this Discord right now. Uh, uh, and we'll show you it. I'm going to sneeze real quick. All right. Okay, so... In here, we talk about it. I try to help people as much as possible. Fuck, man, I keep sneezing. I try to help people as much as possible. Now we go, I talk to a lot of people and, uh, oh my God, I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. okay. I talk to a lot of people. I try to help out as much as possible here. Um, Ideas for learning, just post in here what you guys want to see, and I will get to that in this framework. All right, on that note, though, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, any ideas, or just post in the Discord. Uh, Discord is in the description, and have a good one. I will see you on the next.